G'day guys, welcome back to Off Piece Campers. It's now time to put the awning on. It's about lunchtime. We're going to cook something in the kitchen here shortly. There's no breeze around, so what we're going to do is set the awning up in its freestanding mode, which is just using these two, um, I suppose you call them, cantilever poles. I'll show you how these connect onto the trailer. Remember in a previous video, we, uh, for the centre latch and the most rear latch on the trailer, we pushed the actual latch compartment up underneath the canvas, just exposing these two little holes, sitting one there just to the left of the K, and the other one is just sitting just at the back here. Now at the end of these poles here are two 90 degree nipples. They will slot into these holes with little split pins. We'll put the split pins through and secure them into the holes. There are spare split pins in the electrical bag should you drop, drop one or lose one in the sand. There's spares in there so don't stress too much. Um, there's three of these bags. This one's the one with the creek awning. They're all, you know, Kimberly named them all so you know exactly what's in each bag. Um, bag. So um, the bag's quite big for the awning, so there's no issues when you roll it all up and slack it all down like a pastry. It fits in the bag very easily. There's some handles on either side, so you can wiggle it to get it down in that bag, piece of cake. So the awning does zip on from the top right hand of the um, tent, and I'm six foot two. We've got the black tactics box, you know, in the front storage box of the trailer for a reason. I can stand on this. I can still reach the zipper quite comfortably without without risk damaging the zipper at the apex of the top of the uh, canvas there. So we'll zip it on, we'll zip it all the way. Sarah's going to be standing over the left hand side here. I'll then run my hand back along the top and we're just going to push down all the velcro on the top. If it was raining, I mean it's not going to rain for about a week here, but if it was raining that'll stop any water coming in through the zip. And then the awning will just be hanging down on the front of the trailer. The next thing we'll do is we'll connect these two poles. And we've got the camera down a little bit lower, so hopefully you can see how these sort of work. Um, but we will add a look, couple of photographs there at the end there too on how they all connect on to the um, trailer and the canvas. Um, once we've got them set up, in each corner of the awning, there's a cam buckle. And then on the awning itself, about this position and about above the door there, there's a strap. We'll just connect the strap through to the cam buckle and tighten it. And basically turns each corner. Um, into little drying and pastry segments and the whole thing is freestanding like a, like a big arm. Right, let's get into it. Okay, the zipper's on my side right here and the, you can tell that the top took it over Betsy there. Sweet, then you've got the Velcro, that's sitting on the top of the awning. So I've got the zipper down at the end here, the zipper will zip onto this side here. So the zip's on nice. There is a handle on the zipper. Done, and we just let the awning fall to the ground. You can see what I mean about the Velcro. It just gets pushed down. I'm not going to be too critical with it at the moment, as we're not expecting any rain. But if you were, you'd go through and you make sure that it's all pushed down quite nice. That way, if you do get any rain, it doesn't come in through you through the zipper too much. So it's all set there now. This is a, it's a little bit handy with two people. So Sarah can now hold the awning away so it provides me with access to this little ring and again we'll have photos of exactly how these go on you push a little split pin through and then on the awning right up the top there there is a section that the base of the pole will slide into and then there's one here uh, just it's all about just getting at the right angle and then now it's tightened and locked there's a little velcro section here you can velcro onto the pole that'll hold it in place and we'll just keep it nice and low we'll just lock it in place there it's just going to sit there sarah can let go of the awning and it's just going to hang there right there Okay, over the other side, Sarah's just going to come and hold the other side of the awning for me. 
Rightio, so we've got the pole connected onto the trailer and the spreader pole goes up into its housing. It's a little bit folded over just a little bit, so I'll just give it a little bit of a hand like that. Comes back to where Sarah is, we'll unlock the pole and it's giving me a bit of play movement and we'll put the other end right to where Sarah's holding. Alrighty. Spread it out and lock it in place, lock the Velcro in place. Sarah's still holding the awning there. <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. I'll push it up and lock it in place at the moment. So if we all let go, you can sort of see what we mean. We've got two corners hanging down and the centers are being supported by the trailer. Later on, we'll show you. Very simple, what we'll just put one pole in to the corner here and that'll actually hold it right up. But what we'll do is we'll grab each corner bring the cam back all up to where this, uh, where its tether is. I can hear Betsy standing on a tactic box. There you go. It doesn't have to be super tight, but it just needs to hold it up. So that's done. You can give it a bit of a pat down. And then Sarah can get on the other extension. push it up. So release and push. Done. Beautiful. Now the, now the freestanding awning is all set. We're out of the sun. We can sit up here and have lunch. And then like I said, if it does start getting windy or it's going to rain, you then can drop the sides down and put your, your, your two poles in, tether those down in with one guy rope and up one peg. Cheers.